All right. We're testing Riverside FM. They've done some fun new things with the dashboard and the editor. And this is our first two-person test in video. So I called co-owner and founder Skip Murphy of GraniteRock.com to help. And uh, we spent the last 20 minutes fooling around with settings and cameras and things to get it to look like this, which may or may not be accomplishment. That's your decision, not mine. But here we are. Hi, Skip. How you doing? <laughs> Bonjour, no, senor. <laughs> <laughs> not too bad not too bad so um lots of things going on of course uh we could talk about we're gonna keep this short probably 15 minutes we got about another 10 and obviously the tucker carlson thing is big news uh biden has announced that he and kamala what's her face are running uh in 2024 or stumbling or whatever you want to call it and um you know there's lots of local news sununu was on some cable channel talking about gun rights and and how trump's not gonna win and you know stuff like that so there's a lot going on skip's got a ton of stuff uh, on his dashboard he's probably got 300 tabs open uh anything you want to talk about actually let's talk about sununu because it's something that i've now developed into a weekly series these weekly sununu poll watch because infamously he said uh, referring back to 2016, when you had you know a whole pack of Republicans trying to beat Trump out for the nomination, you know you had people who were sub, you know one percent or what have you. So Sununu decides to say, if you're not even making five percent, you need to drop out for the good of the party, Snicker. Yeah, um, yeah. he uh, he he is barely. I think his highest mark has been one percent. Last week he was point. Uh, he was zero point five percent this week, according to Real Clear, Real Clear Politics, because I'm trying to use as neutral a site and as well accepted a site as I can. Now yeah. he's dropped to one to zero point four percent, and I dryly note that newcomer, not part of a, any kind of a political dynasty, especially here in the state, uh, Vivek uh, Ramaswamy went from 0.9 to 1.4 in the real clear politics polling averages. It's like, okay, who's getting the better ROI? Yeah, I would say so. And of course, Vivek has announced, Sununu has not, but his name has been, he's, his hat has been floating around the ring. He's been behaving like he's running. And um, he was on uh, some NBC News Meet the Press. That's what it was. So to your point, he... Uh, Daily Wire took a little bit of what he was talking about, and the headline reads, Chris Sununu blasts Trump, signals key factor that will determine if he runs for president. I'm da, 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 da. When asked about whether he's going to run for president, Sununu said, everyone will know this decision but by July 4th at the latest. He also said that the key factor for whether or not he decides to run will be doing what is best for the party. I'm sorry, that's what it was best for the party i wish he did that all the time right he, he does do that all the time he doesn't do what's best for the platform or the constitution or the people he does what's best for the party i think he, oh, wait, the wait, thresholds wait wait, wait, wait. he didn't what, specify what? which party <laughs> not in that particular paragraph nobody was talking about republicans i love that that's great so anyway this is well cool. you know Am I wrong? He, no, as no, have he always say. said he's good on guns, he's good on taxes, mm. and everything else. He's left wing. Why else would I be, sell, uh, you know, going <laughs> after my school board over the transgender policies uh, for the last? That he two and signed. Years? Yep. Yeah. Yep, that the Democrats it. passed, and he signed it. So here's his quote. I think the thresholds for the debate are going to be very low to start in terms of polling numbers and donors, Sununu said. So I think if you're going to have a very crowded stage early on, potentially, the thresholds for the debate are going to be very low to start. For those of you who don't know what that means, that means your percentage polling is how a lot of these media outlets decide who gets to sit on the debate stage or stand in this case. And... Um, and Sununu, obviously, as, as Skip has been reporting, has said 5% is where it is, 5%. And he's down here. So he needs down here for the debate. <laughs> That's what he needs, I'm, which is like, what, zero? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but less than 1% is 
is not going to give him a podium on the stage. Or, you know, it's nice that Rona, whatever her last name is, I can't remember, has said. McDaniels? Have, yeah, McDaniels is at least going to have a conservative moderator for all these. Gosh, after how many times have we been all been saying this, the grassroots? Mm -hmm. Finally, that's going to happen. But at this point, Sununu had better hope that uh, dad's got really, really big pocketed friends to make it on the donor side. Yeah, that want to back that want to back Chris and not say somebody else like a DeSantis or whoever. I assume it, not Trump. I can't imagine a Sununu donor supporting Trump, but uh, no, no. And, and Sununu has uh, has made it real clear he is the anti-Trump leaner, along with Chris Christie. Now, wouldn't that be fun to watch the two of them battle that out? <laughs> Lara, Larry Hogan, did he jump in yet? Uh, he was thinking no, about he, it. he canceled himself. Did he? He did okay. All right. And so, uh, did, so did Youngkin out of West Virginia. Asa Hutchinson. Who? <laughs> He's a governor of some some southern state where they say y'all. Yeah. I think. The, I the think. former the for, former Clinton state, Arkansas. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and there's a lot of great states down there where you say y'all. I don't want you to think that I'm some northeastern prick who's bad mouthing you. I love flyover country. I think it's the best part of the, the world. And I, I happen to live too close to the coast to be able to claim any, I don't know, domicile in that part of the, of the country. But I used to live in Western New York, which to people out here on the East Coast is the Midwest. So I think it, it's going to be a long race, a long campaign, and we're going to get a number of surprises. And if anybody knows who's going to win, you know, they're out of their gourd. I know. You never know. It's, I mean, it started so much earlier. And, um, well, let's talk about Biden. Biden and Harris are running. <clears throat> uh, the Biden administration has asked Joe Biden to run again. And um, uh, he currently has at least one opponent, Robert Kennedy Jr., who is a Democrat, but most of us know him because of his work with Children's Defense and the vaccine deal and lots of Democrats go, he's an anti-vaxxer. Yeah, I grew up in Massachusetts, so I'm quite familiar with the dynasty, the Kennedy dynasty, although he seems to be more of a black sheep lately than not. Um, we're we're going to see how that's going to play out. Go ahead. And there's still the new ager uh, book gal. Um, what's her name? I'm horrible at names. I always when you to... remember it, I'll be like, oh, yeah, but I don't I can't. I think I know what who you mean, but I can't for the life of me think of her name. Yeah, I mean, because I, I haven't seen her name in a while. Actually, actually you, you know something? I would like to open up our grok gauntlets to these Democrats and have them in like, <laughs> don't okay. laugh at me. But I think it would be rather interesting to sit down with them and see. And we could say, OK, we're conservatives. We're not going to agree on anything, but at least we're willing to talk. We'll give you an entree into our conservator readership. Um, let's see if there's anything that we can even halfway agree on. I think it's probably more the case with Kennedy than it is. Uh, you start talking. I've got to look it up because now it's going to drive me okay, crazy. OK, you look it up. But I'm going to say to those Democrats who by accident stumble across this, hoping we say something bigoted or hateful. Um, we have only ever had the honor, to my knowledge, of an interview with one Democrat running for president, and that was Tulsi Gabbard. And look what happened to her. She became a Republican. So maybe you should sit down with us. It might be good for you. It might be good for the country. This has been a public service announcement of GraniteRock.com. <laughs> Anyway, did you find it? Well, actually, I have to disagree with you. Way back when, um, Granite Rock did interview Joe Biden here in Laconia. Way back, way, way back when. Yeah, yeah, until he got caught plagiarizing again. So that was like way, way, that was before I was even on Granite Rock. Yeah, we started in 2006, so this was the 2008 campaign. Steve was so. blogging at NH Insider then. Yep. So, 
Marianne Williamson. That's Mary. It. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to steal votes from Biden. Here's a question. And we only have, well, we can run a little long, I think. But here's a question. We can run as long as we want. I know we can, but I have to go through and see how well this is editable afterwards. And I don't want to kill myself. Um, if the Biden administration wants Joe Biden to win, and when I say the Biden administration, I mean the people running the country, not the guy who has the title of president. If they want him to win, and he has opponents, and I think he'll have more than one. I don't. I don't think RFK's Jr. is the only one that's going to run against him because if you look at the polling, even New Hampshire Democrats don't want Joe Biden to run, which is pretty impressive because they're pretty stalwart when it comes to the party line. Um, so uh, the DNC is going to have to rig the primaries again to help Joe win because anybody else who's good who runs, and I, I don't know that RFK will uh, – appeal to Democrat primary voters the way he might appeal to, say, Republican primary voters just on the vaccine issues. Um, they're going to have to rig that. And but the people, it's, I know they've done it. They've done it at least two, two elections that we know of. No, 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 no. They just did it again. The DNC said there will be no debates. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah, because it's Joe. I mean, they, they would need a cardboard cutout with a tape recorder and somebody going... No, and JFK immediately went to 14% as soon as he he announced, which I thought was rather unique, thinking, okay, can we draw a parallel between his polling numbers and Chris Sununu's? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe Jennifer Horn should run. No, no, I would take, <laughs> no, 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 no. I would take Sununu over Jennifer Horn. Well, I'm, she's a Democrat now, so she'd have to run on the Democrat ticket. I know they still talk to her like she's a Republican, but she left the party. And yeah, as, long but... as, as long as that pool thing doesn't come up, she's probably got a shot. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Huh. <laughs> huh. So, uh, yeah. You have, you have company? No. It, no, sure. Uh, yeah. I, when I went to look up Marianne Williamson, the browser window that came up also had a video, and it started to play. I, I have a bunch of them. auto plays. Yes, I know. I know. So anyway, um, by the way, if you haven't gone to graniterock.com today, we have a really cool story. I think it's published. It's supposed to go up at 5 o'clock. Let me go look real quick and see if it's there. So uh, update, refresh. Come on, baby. I put more memory in this thing. You should be moving faster. Democrat politician drops successive f bombs mid meeting and walks out. It was published oh, at yes. five o'clock. So we have video. We have links. This is New Boston. You will have already probably seen it before you see this. But if you missed it, go back and look at it because she gets kind of upset and she sort of quits and she just won election. So it's interesting. And um, New Boston's kind of a train wreck this year. So check that out. And I have still yet to put up, somebody sent me a snippet from the Rochester City Council, which mm. I have to put up, where <laughs> parallels between it and the Belknap County delegation abound. You know, majority versus the minority. Minority, I would consider to be more like us, mm. conservatives, rather than establishmentarianism. And the assistant mayor decided to go on a rampage and found himself being called on the carpet against those he was calling out, not by name, but a certain minority of members kind Ooh, of deal, who. who then turned around and saw the Linsky to his butt because <laughs> he was the guy who wrote the code of ethics that basically said, thou shalt not speak ill of other city councilors. So mm. they raked him over the cold, and I just sat here laughing and laughing and laughing, and I forgot to put it up. So thank you for putting that one up, because now I'll have another one. And if people, if you're listening to this, and you see such monkey business going on in your local government, let us know, because we oh, yeah. enjoy doing this. This video I posted today, somebody sent me, it happened yesterday. The actual minutes won't be published until after they meet and approve them, so you'll actually get to see the the words get blocked out because there's there's swearing 
at, at <laughs> just and not at people, just at the circumstance. And whether or not she's right doesn't matter because this particular candidate who happens to be a Democrat and ran in a nonpartisan election ran on civility. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Digit, it's popcorn worthy. Um, and uh, we're excited to have it. So uh, we're at about 20 minutes. I'm, I'm going to wrap this up because I, I don't know how long it's going to take to learn how to do the editing if there is any. And hopefully there won't be any, in which case I'll just throw this up tomorrow somewhere or within a day or so. So, Skip, thank you very much for helping me test this. I may be in touch very soon to test it again if this doesn't go well. That's okay. You know, we're bloggers. We can talk about anything. <laughs> All right, which we've just proven. All right, thank you, sir. Have a great evening. Enjoy.